Good morning. Good morning. Uh, as a congregation, we've been part of the Kairos ministry, prison ministry, for, uh, oh, maybe eight, nine years. Uh, first uh, with the women's Lockhart unit uh, that had men in it uh, many years ago. And then uh, for the past five years, uh, we've been supporting uh, the Luther unit in Navasota, Texas. Uh, Kairos, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, is a uh, faith-based program that uh, goes into prisons and the goal is to create self-sustaining faith communities within the prison so that the inmates themselves become a faith community and they support each other in their spiritual growth. And uh, the way the Kairos does this is uh, twice a year, uh, they do a three and a half day retreat or weekend in the prison uh, where we uh, present uh, about 12 different talks, uh, provide uh, worship services throughout the three and a half days and then we also fellowship together, we eat together, uh, and uh, we do it as a table group, uh, six men and three volunteers. So uh, because of COVID, we've been locked out for a couple of years. The prisons are highly contaminated environment, they can't social distance. So now uh, with the reduction in the, the COVID wave, uh, we're able to go back into the prisons and uh, the warden has approved us to do our eighth Kairos weekend. Uh, the last weekend in, of uh, April uh, 1st of May. Uh, so I'm here to talk with you about that. So let me give you a little Cairo story, then I'll, we'll talk about the ways that we can participate. But uh, this is a story I heard from a woman uh, in the Lockhart unit. Uh, I was serving on the outside Cairo's team, helping prepare all the meals for the women that were inside during the weekend. And at the very end of the weekend, uh, they have what they call open mic, where you can come in and, and the women talk about what their experience was. So she was telling this story about her Kairos experience and she said a year ago, Ada, one of the women that was on the Kairos inside team, came up to me and gave me this bag of cookies and said, these are from God. She said, whoa, she said, that kind of took me back. She said, I, I looked at them and I took them back to my cell and I didn't eat them, I put them up on the shelf. She said, I want to think about that for a while. She said, why would God be sending me cookies? So I thought about it overnight. And then the next morning she thought, uh, how does God even know me that he would be sending me cookies? She said, oh, I'll let that work on me for a while, for another day or so. And then I thought to myself, if God knows me and anything about me, why would he want to have anything to do with me? So she said, I thought I better sign up for this Kairos weekend to find out who this God was and what it was all about. So she's just finishing her weekend a year later, and uh, this is the end of her story. She says, you know, uh, those cookies saved my life. So we're gonna talk about ways you can participate in saving the life of an incarcerated person. Uh, if you don't know the story about the cookies, uh, whenever we go in to uh, do a weekend, we take a dozen cookies for every inmate and every staff person in the facility, which in itself is kind of daunting. It's like 2,100 dozen cookies that we have to prepare. We used to, to bake them ourselves. We don't do that anymore because of health restrictions uh, that the Texas Department of Corrections has. But anyway, that's, that's where the cookies came from. So uh, how can we participate or you individually participate uh, in this ministry? Uh, there are two ways that you can do that. One is uh, to sign up for the prayer chain. which looks kind of like this, and uh, there's a space for a name, uh, your first name, and then uh, the city and state where you live, and uh, then this eventually uh, gets cut into strips and it becomes kind of a daisy chain. And uh, when we go into the prison, uh, there's one talk that's given, uh, you are not alone. And uh, during that talk, you are not alone, we bring out the daisy chain with all the people that have signed up to pray for that particular Kairos weekend and the prisoners are taken aback, uh, like the lady that got the cookies. Uh, how do these people even know that I'm here? Uh, why would they care that I'm here? Why would they care about the weekend that I'm going through? Uh, this is the way that they experience the presence of the body of Christ and the love of Christ encouraging them in their faith journey. So uh, I will be harassing you to pick one of these up, take it home, Call your friends and relatives, uh, get them to sign up. Uh, you can put their name on there. They don't have to sign up themselves. Just first name, uh, city and state. I'm gonna give one to Nona because I know she's got a lot of 
children and grandchildren. Going to give one to Karen. I know she's got people she can get involved. So that's the, uh, the prayer chain, and I'll be harassing you handing those out. Okay, we'll, we'll have a stack of them back here you can be picking up. Second opportunity is uh, a meal ticket. Uh, and uh, it costs about $10,000 to do a weekend uh, for Kairos. Uh, of course, there are many congregations that are participating and involved in this. Uh, but the meal ticket uh, is a way of saying that you're sponsoring an inmate as they go through their spiritual formation weekend. And as we have our fellowship meals together, uh, we place the meal ticket uh, at, at the placemat uh, of the inmate that uh, is sitting at our table. So again, it's another way that they know that there's an individual person who wants to sponsor and support uh, their participation in the Spiritual Formation Weekend. So you can contribute by uh, making out a check to Spirit in the Hills, uh, designate Kairos, and uh, I'll put your name on the meal ticket. Uh, and if you're doing it online, uh, let us know uh, your first name and city and state, uh, and we'll fill out, fill out the meal tickets. And then lastly, if you are curious and you want to know more about the individual ministry at Luther, the website is uh, Luther, capital L, uh, Kairos, capital K, dot com. Or if you want to know about the international uh, Kairos prison ministry, it's Kairos prison ministry, uh, dot org. Uh, both on the, have, have websites that you can explore more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. As we get ready for Holy Week, I remember in uh, Luke's, gospel account of the Holy Week story. Um, you know, Jesus is crucified with two other criminals um, alongside of him. And, uh, and the, the one asks, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And uh, Kairos is a great way that whether, uh, well, however you can participate, a way that we can remember those who are incarcerated, who often are, are so often forgotten and overlooked. And so thank you, Mike, and thank you all of you for your participation in it.